Have you ever been captivated by the timeless performances of Judith Anderson? Whether it's a cherished memory or the first encounter with her iconic work, the impact of this classic Hollywood actress has left an indelible mark on the hearts of many. We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Known for her remarkable talent and versatility, Judith Anderson graced the silver screen and the theater stage, leaving a legacy that continues to inspire generations. Her journey in the world of entertainment is punctuated by fascinating anecdotes and accomplishments that shed light on the life of this legendary actress. Did you know that Judith Anderson, born in 1897, began her acting career in her native Australia before conquering the stages of Broadway and Hollywood? Her talent and dedication to her craft earned her two Academy Award nominations, and her unforgettable portrayal of the enigmatic Mrs. Danvers in the classic film Rebecca remains etched in the annals of cinematic history. But it wasn't just her cinematic achievements that made her an icon. Her presence in the theater world was equally profound, earning her the distinction of being one of the greatest Shakespearean actresses of the 20th century. Now, as we pay tribute to Judith Anderson's remarkable career, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic Hollywood actor. Your stories help us keep the spirit of this extraordinary artist alive. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Share your thoughts and anecdotes and let's celebrate the legacy of Judith Anderson together. Dame Judith Anderson was a prominent actress with a notable career. She appeared in four films nominated for the Best Picture Academy Award, Rebecca, King's Row, The Ten Commandments, and Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. Out of these, only Rebecca won the award. In 1984, after a 14-year hiatus from the screen, she played the role of the Vulcan High Priestess T. Lar in Star Trek III, The Search for Spock. Interestingly, she had never watched the Star Trek series before and had no knowledge of it. Leonard Nimoy, who wanted her for the role, introduced her to the show by having her watch some episodes, including a mock time. She was excited about the story and agreed to be part of the film. Dame Judith Anderson passed away on January 3, 1992, 38 days before what would have been her 95th birthday on February 10. Her body was cremated. In her career, in personal life, Judith Anderson left a lasting impact. From her impressive film nominations to her unexpected role in the Star Trek universe, her work in the entertainment industry continues to be remembered and celebrated. Judith Anderson, a renowned actress, achieved a unique feat in her career. She is the first, and perhaps the only actress to win two Emmy Awards for playing the same role, Lady Macbeth, in two separate television productions of the same play, William Shakespeare's Macbeth. This remarkable accomplishment occurred in the Hallmark Hall of Fame productions of Macbeth in 1954 and 1960, where she starred alongside Morris Evans. This distinction highlights Anderson's exceptional talent and her ability to bring depth and complexity to her roles. In addition to her television success, Judith Anderson was a notable figure on Broadway. She graced the stage with her presence in various productions, including The Dove, Strange Interlude, As You Desire Me, and Macbeth. Notably, she appeared in Macbeth twice on television and received an Emmy Award for both performances. Her contributions to the world of theater and her ability to captivate audiences with her performances cemented her status as a top classical actress. Anderson's talent extended to the realm of film as well. She played the Vulcan High Priestess T. Lar in Star Trek III, The Search for Spock in 1984, making her one of only 11 Star Trek actors born in the 19th century. Notably, she is the only one among the Eleven who did not appear in the original Star Trek series, showcasing her versatility as an actress. In conclusion, Judith Anderson's career was marked by her remarkable portrayal of Lady Macbeth, winning two Emmy Awards for the same role in different television productions. Her contributions to Broadway and her unique appearance in the Star Trek franchise further solidify her legacy in the world of entertainment.
Judith Anderson, an accomplished actress, left a mark on the world of entertainment with her remarkable career. In 1986, she received the Women's International Center Living Legacy Award, recognizing her significant contributions to the field of acting. One of the highlights of her career was the adaptation of Europide's Tragedy Media, written especially for her. This play not only won the New York Drama Critics Award, but was also produced for television, showcasing her exceptional talent. At the age of 87, Judith Anderson came out of retirement after a 14-year hiatus from motion pictures. She made a memorable appearance as the High Priestess in Star Trek III, The Search for Spock in 1984. Her return to the big screen was encouraged by her nephew, and for her role, she received a Saturn Award nomination. These achievements and her enduring talent cemented Judith Anderson's legacy in the world of acting. Her contributions to the industry continue to be celebrated and remembered. Judith Anderson, a celebrated actress, left her mark on the world of theater and film. One remarkable incident in her career was when conductor Arturo Toscanini was so impressed by her performance as Medea on Broadway that he almost tumbled out of his stage box with applause. In recognition of her contributions to the performing arts, Judith Anderson was honored with the title of Dame Commander of the Order of the British Empire in the 1960 Queen's New Year's Honors List. Anderson's journey to success was not without its challenges. She attended Norwood Morialta High School in Adelaide, South Australia, but her education was cut short and she faced initial struggles in California and New York before making a name for herself in the entertainment industry. This Australian-born actress talent and dedication to her craft eventually led her to become a respected figure in the world of acting. Her remarkable career is a testament to her enduring impact on the performing arts. As we draw the curtains on this journey through the captivating world of Judith Anderson's performances, I invite you to take a moment and reflect on your personal connection with this remarkable actress. From the ethereal Lady Macbeth to the enigmatic Mrs. Danvers, her portrayals have left an indelible mark on the tapestry of entertainment. Perhaps you were transported to the chilling Manderley estate while watching her in Rebecca, or maybe you felt the raw power of her stage presence in Medea. Judith Anderson had an uncanny ability to breathe life into every character she portrayed, making us laugh, cry, and shiver with her unparalleled talent. Now, it's your turn to shine. We encourage you to share your favorite memories and thoughts about Judith Anderson's performances. Did you find inspiration in her craft? Were you moved by her intensity? Or do you have a cherished moment that you've carried with you throughout the years? In this digital age, our collective reminiscences serve as a testament to the enduring legacy of an artist like Judith Anderson. So please share your thoughts and memories with us and the world, for they are the threads that weave the tapestry of her impact on entertainment. We extend our heartfelt appreciation for your time and interest in celebrating the artistry of Judith Anderson. Your participation enriches our shared understanding of the magic she brought to the stage and screen. Thank you for being a part of this tribute to a true luminary in the world of performing arts. This heartfelt outro is...